Today we look at how to trim a transparent image in Affinity Photo. Now there's some subtle differences between image layers and pixel layers in this process. If you aren't sure how they differ, check out my video on that subject. I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's consider our first scenario here. I've opened the transparent PNG in Affinity Photo, and it has lots of extra transparent space on the edges. Now notice that this is just a PNG file, it's not an Affinity Photo file. You can see over here it's called PNG. And note that the layer is a pixel layer here. So it's actually quite easy to trim this type of image. I can select document, clip the canvas, and now those transparent sides have been trimmed out. I'll save my image, I'll select file, save. Let me close it. I'll open that image here again, open with Affinity Photo, and you can see we have our trimmed image. And again, that was done through document, clip canvas. Let's now consider another case. In this scenario, I've created an empty Affinity Photo file. Now I'm going to place an image. So I'll select File, Place. I'll select this image here, Open, and I'll place it here. You can see by the square here that there's lots of blank spaces on the edges. So let's try the same method we did before. I'll select Document, Clip to Canvas, and now it didn't actually do the same thing. Let me undo this. The reason this happened is because when I placed the PNG, it came in as an image layer. And you can see that over here in the layer stack, it says Image. Now if I select my image, you can see the bounding box for the entire image. And remember that Affinity tries not to change the contents of an image. So all this white space inside isn't going to be altered. So when I did clip the canvas, it just fit the canvas around this whole box here. So I'll select document, clip the canvas, and you can see that's what it did. So before I explain how to deal with this, let me show you what clip the canvas is actually doing. I'll place multiple elements here. I'll place a vector star. I'll place a heart. I'll place some other image. And now I'll do document clip to canvas again. And you can see what it's doing is it's trying to make our canvas as small as possible but still hold all the contents in it. Let me undo that. Let me add one more image. File, place. Let's do this car. Now notice what happens when I take this image and I put it partially off the canvas here. So you can see it's off like that. If I do document clip to canvas, it actually expands part of the canvas to bring that image in. So Clip to Canvas is trying to make the canvas as efficient as possible while holding all your content. So let's go back to this example here. If we have a document with lots of things in it, how can we actually trim one element? Well, you can trim the PNG outside of your document like we did in the first example, or you can trim it within this document by using the Rasterize and Trim option. But there's two big caveats to that approach that you should be aware of. So first, let's see how it works. I have this image here selected. Notice the empty space around it. I can right click on it here. And I can choose Rasterize and Trim. So I'll click this. And it looks like it did exactly what we wanted it to. But the first thing you need to be aware of when you Rasterize and Trim is that you lock yourself into that current resolution. So let me undo this. If I take this image and make it really small, if I right click on it and do Rasterize and Trim, if I make it big again, it has very low resolution. That's because it took that small size when we Rasterize and Trimmed it. Let me undo this. If you want to Rasterize something, I recommend making it 100% the size. So with this image selected, I can see the size up here. It says 71%. I'll click on it. Let's make it 100. Now it looks pretty good. Let me right click on it. I can rasterize and trim it. And I keep all that data. So you should make an image 100% size if rasterizing it. But there is one other thing you really need to pay attention to. Let's again undo it, get back to our image. If you have an image and it's partially off your canvas, if I rasterize and trim it now, watch what happens. I'll right click, rasterize and trim. And now when I drag it over, I've lost the part of it that's off my canvas. So you should make sure that you have enough room on your document to hold the important part of your image. If your image is too big for that, then I recommend just going back to the first method we did in this video. You can trim your PNG separately by opening it and selecting Document, Clip Canvas, saving it, and then importing it into your other file. If you're still unsure about the difference between pixel and image layers, check out my video on that subject. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.